Hi, I'm Bethany Weibel, and I am going to be interviewing Michael Weibel about solar panels. So, hi Michael. Hi Bethany. So, our first question is, what got you into getting solar panels? Because I know lots of people have them now, but you got them before lots of people, right? Yes, I did. I got these quite a few years ago. I always was interested in being good to the environment and being green and I always loved the idea of producing my own electricity instead of having to buy it from the electric companies. Okay, so how much did it cost and how, like how long was the lease or how much was the lease every month? Okay, well, I, as you said, I leased it. I didn't buy the panels, so I did wind up leasing them, which means I don't own them. The solar panel, the solar panel company owns them and it's a 20-year lease and I pay $99 a month to the solar panel company for them. Okay, so how exactly does it work? Okay, well, to start off with, the sun hits the solar panels that are on the roof of my garage. And the solar panels convert the light into direct current, DC electricity. Houses can't use direct, um, direct current. We use alternating current. So it, there's a wire that leads it to my garage, to a device called an inverter, which I can show you. And then the inverter converts it to alternating current, which is what our homes use. And then from there, it feeds right into the wires to our electrical system. Okay, so do you want to show us? Sure. So here we are. So this is the mechanism of how it works, right? Yes, that is the inverter. And from the inverter here, they'll, it goes from here to this device and that sends it right to our electric panel over there. So, the next question. Does it save you any money? And if so, how much? Well, this saves us... Let's see. Before I got the panels, my electric bill was a little over $200 a month. Now, my electric bill is $99 a month because all I'm paying is the solar panel company. So the electricity is zero then. Exactly. And even more savings, I have an electric car. And a lot of the electricity is going to that car. So instead of paying for gas, I'm getting the electricity from the sun for free. So does it mean it's going to save everyone money? It saves a lot of people money. But if you earn a house that has a very small electric bill that runs mainly on gas, just say the bill is only fifty dollars a month. Or you have a home at lot. Yeah, it will actually cost you a lot of money because you're not, the bill, the lease is more than the electric bill. So you want the electric bill to be higher than ninety nine. Exactly. And then it'll. Okay, so what are some benefits of it? Well, some of the main benefits: the solar panels produce electricity without using any um, fossil fuels. There's no carbon being released into the atmosphere. There's no global warming being caused by my electric use. That's a main benefit. I'm saving a lot of money. That's a huge benefit. Like you just talked about. Exactly. Again, and as I said earlier, I love producing my own electricity and I hate having to buy it from someone else. So I feel more self-reliant now because I'm not getting my power from someone else. Okay, so what are some of the drawbacks? Well, the main drawback is if you, it's going to cost you money. For me, there is zero drawbacks. But if you live in a place where you have a very small electric bill, you're going to be paying a lot more than... Like you said. Mm -hmm. um, well, what company did you get them from, and would you recommend them? I got them through a company called Solar City, and yes, I would recommend them. They're a great company. They did a great job. Um, for the lease, they warranty the work for 20 years. That's the lifespan of the, lease, of the lease. So if it ever breaks, they take care of it and everything's fine. What, how is it better than some other companies? So, like, there's a company that I've seen commercials for, like Energy Solar. I'm not better? really sure. 
because those other companies didn't even exist when I got mine. Okay, so do some places restrict them? Yes, if you live in a condo where it's a building with lots or an apartment building, they won't let you do it. You have to have your own roof above your own property. Unless the landlord, like if it's an apartment, unless the landlord wants to buy them. Exactly. Um, in that case, it would be saving you money. Did it ever restrict to you? Yes, for years, my homeowners association didn't allow me to get it until I looked at the law. And there's an old law stating that even in a townhome, the homeowners are not allowed to say no. And I printed out the law and I showed it to them and they turned around and said yes. So now is other people putting them up? Yes, there are other people in our development who are now putting them up after we got the rules changed. I have a question. When I saw your solar panels compared to some houses, some of the, the houses didn't have these poles. Why does your house have the poles? The poles for the way our house is, it positions them so the solar panels get the most sun. Depending on which way the house faces or exactly where it is, it may or may not need the poles. This just makes sure we get enough sunlight or the maximum amount of sunlight possible. Okay, thank you Michael Zweibel. You're welcome. Thank you for letting me use some of your time to interview you. My pleasure. I enjoyed answering your questions. Thank you for watching. Bye!